Now, what if China made a good industrial mask? Well, that would be this, the TF6D. It is a very high quality Chinese industrial mask. And, according to the manual, it is internationally uh, certified. Never seen that on a Chinese mask. So, that's interesting. See the ISO 9001. Anyway, so let's look at it. We've also got this uh, Chinese P3 equivalent. It's, uh, I'll go over this quickly. It's a little wonky. It's got a bit of deformation. But, it's definitely moulding related. It's not like it was damaged or anything. Feels nice, quite light. It's not as light as Western ones. Um, the material, filtering material it uses, doesn't seem to be as good as our stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. It's nice to see a Chinese P3 filter. They're kind of rare. Um, and now the actual mask. So, intake, 40 millimeter Gost. I assume it's Gost. Could be NATO if it's internationally recognized. There's the uh, XR valve cover. It's just a piece of plastic. Clips in, clips out. It's got a tiny XL valve. Made out of silicon, I assume. Uh, according to the manual, the mask itself is made out of a natural rubber. Um, it's got a rubber head harness. It's got the clearly uh, based on the S10 type ones, the old rubber ones. Um, there's the uh, old nasal cup. It's quite a comfy mask. It doesn't quite fit me. It needs to be a little bigger to fit me. Um, then obviously it's made for Asiatic faces, which I do not have. But it seals and it doesn't fog. It's also really high quality for a Chinese mask. As you can see, it's got a voice diaphragm. It's okay, it's not great. I've... It's better than the standard rubber ones they use. The blue rubber ones. Yep. Panoramic. Some sort of polymer visor. It's got a uh, six point head harness, which is nice. You don't see them very often on Chinese masks. Normally they just use five point, probably because they're cheap. Um, there's the strap system. It's very similar to the, well, German and Israeli type. It's the roller clip thing. Yeah, seen it. Same as the attachment points. It's got a hood skirt, which is interesting. You don't see that on industrial masks very often. Huh. There's really not much to say about it. It's a decent Chinese industrial mask. Let's quickly use the voice diaphragm. Alright, here's the voice diaphragm. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. Probably better than the rubber ones too. That normal Chinese military mask use. Uh, it's quite easy to breathe through. Got a plastic valve holder there. Rubber grommet. Yeah, it's a pretty good mask. Very basic. It's on par with some Eastern European stuff. China can make good things, they just rarely export them. Uh, that's it.